It's intimidating just by virtue of its size. This is not a complicated question. It's just a long-ish question. So classic problem-solving strategy, when a question is too big to handle, you just bring it down to size and then see what you can learn about the original question from your smaller version, your miniature of the question. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, don't worry about having three logs in a row. Let's just imagine you've just got, let's pick a new letter. you just got one log, okay? We could all do this question, right? Like all of us, even potentially last year we could have done it. This is a log equation. I want to rewrite it as an exponential equation. What exponential equation will it be? So this is how I've rewritten it. It's easy to remember where the four belongs because it's the base, right? The base here becomes the base here. And then really all these guys have to do is swap places. So fine. So from here we can see any number raised to the power of zero is one. So y is just going to be one in this case, okay? But hold on a second. This process that you just went through, you can repeat the entire thing over here. It's just that this is y. Do you agree with that, right? Do you see how I've just done log base four of y and I know how to solve that? Well, this is just a long y, that's all. So I'm gonna take that working and I'm just going to carry it on. This is y. And I've just worked out that it's one. You could rehearse this again, you could do another, you could introduce another substitution if you so chose. But you don't have to. Um, you can see I'm gonna do the same thing again. The bases stay the same. So this will be three to the power of one equals log base two of x. Just like the y ended up over there, the log base two of x has ended up over here. And now I just gotta go one more level. So it's gonna be two because of the base to the power of three. Happy? And you can just really quickly test this out. You can uh, see what happens if you put eight into here and then see what happens as it climbs out and you will end up with, I can do it again if you want. This is going to be log base two of eight, which is what? That's three. So then you're gonna have to work out, go out one layer, log base three of three, which is what? One. And then you have to do log base 4 of 1, which sure enough is 0. Does that make sense? So two things there. Number one, bring the problem down to size. Okay? It looks intimidating, but you know how to solve simpler versions of this, so take advantage of that. And secondly, the only other thing really is you've got to know how to convert from a log to an exponential equation, which is still confusing. Like we can still rearrange the numbers incorrectly and what have you. So just this is the kind of thing you would put on your page of notes. Okay?